Chaser there to support Dilly in the meantime. In the middle of the map, Chaos Bolt hits by Thugonomics. Milkman already down to around 50% mana. So obviously the pressure coming in from Super Rejects is super high. You can see Milkman taking a very defensive position. Doesn't want to push in for any fears or anything like that. Just tr trying to keep his team stable so they can stay aggressive. All right, Thugonomics just lobbing out more Chaos Bolts. NBS going after Dilly. Actually using the Hammer of Justice defensively. Milkman positioned very far away. Difficult for NBS to get there to Hammer of Justice and get back to the target. So instead, Hammer of Justice gets dispelled and costs mana. And ultimately, that's what they're trying to win off of is running Milkman out of mana. Double Mortal Coil Chaos Bolts being casted by Thugonomics straight for Cy Fox. He ducks into bear form, trying to soak up some of the pressure. Dilly building up more counter aggression. Colo in the middle of the map. He's very susceptible to crowd control with where he's positioned right now. He's way too close to Cyfoxy. Cyfoxy moving over for the stun now, but what there prevent some mana regeneration as Super Rejects are looking to just attrition their opponents. Colo standing on top of the team to try and soak up a trap, maybe get a bursting shot to remove the bleeds. But nice, Dilly snipes the bursting shot without hitting the DPS targets. Unfortunately, now does follow it up with the full trap, but Imp dispels Colo out of that, completely breaking up the chain. And now Cyfox is overextended. Thugonomics is just waiting to line up the Chaos Bolt, moving over to potentially fear milkman milkman ducks out of line of sight to avoid it good avoidance from milkman but mana inevitably i think in favor of super rejects yeah envy is still at 50 percent hp colo looking for the heals milkman actually in a position to maybe go for a fear look at him He's very close to colo he could use that pillar but just wants to keep the heals up doesn't want to fall behind as cy foxy gets lower and lower with the full fear onto dilly archangel gets traded out by milkman trying to top off his team but cy foxy runs out of line of sight now forced into bear form forced to retreat behind the pillar looking to get aggressive now but Thugonomics instantly shuts it down with a double chaos bolt now Dilly nice almost gets his angels as the jungle cleave envious charging and he still has that bubble to fall back on you can see the uh, Cy Foxy looking for the damage on a Thugonomics but this is super good for super rejects Cola just needs to be able to survive a little bit longer I mean, at this point, whose game is Thugonomics setting up for a kill? Double Mortal Coil, Chaos Bolt, Blood of Silence, Full Fear secured onto Milkman. Unfortunately, breaking to some damage. Cy Fox is dangerously low. Milkman triggers out of the Hammer of the Justice. It's dangerously, it's danger time right now for both teams. Thugonomics trying to stay afloat with the unending result, but it's now over. Ferocious Bite, Earthen Shield Totem denies the kill. Thugonomics, if he gets knocked out of this Earthen Shield Totem, will explode. Chaos Bolt's being casted. Cy Foxy goes into Bear. He gets knocked out of the Totem. Dilly trying to set up. Milkman moving forward. Offensive Penance. He just needs a little bit more damage to end this. Bursting shot on Colo. Dilly lands a trap. Where's the imp to spell? Imp to spell instantly by Thugonomics. Blessing of protection, though. Protects Thugonomics. Now Milkman is pushed forward. He's caught into a hammer of justice. Envious gets peeled away. I'd almost like to see Envious just divine shield to get out of this crowd control and end the game. I understand he doesn't want to throw it. Nice cap totem from Colo. Nice hex from Colo. Triple Curious crowd looking to reverse with a triple stun of his own. Korlik, though, doing a good job ducking behind the pillar, avoiding the Chaos Bolts. Now they swap to the Arcane Mage. Needs to be careful. A Chaos Bolt could easily take his life. Is he going to have to blink back? He blinks back to the pillar. Cheerios chasing after him. Aqua's going to switch targets, though, instead. Yeah, Eugel's playing very careful until that Ice Block comes back up, but he's taking a large amount of damage. Interrupt over onto Korlik. Eugel's trying to do everything he can, spamming out the Polymorphs. Spirit Link Totem ultimately gets dropped before the Hex coming in from Korlik, but, man, you can see Neat really running out of offensives. Nick's getting low as well. Does have that Vendetta available. They have one last offensive push, but I don't know who they're going to be able to take down. I mean, at this point, everyone is dead. Triple Cap Totem by Clay. The Metamorphosis gets bought. Cheerios is looking for a kill. Tons of damage. Mortal Coil to follow it up. Korlik Korlik doing a good job to survive, but ultimately getting windshield. He's trying to sneak behind the corner, catches a healing wave. Korlik manages to maybe make it out alive. Spell lock now on the following heal. His ascendance has faded. He's going to lose that area of effect healing. Shadow step defensively by Nick Cheerios. Triple fell barrage. The oh. entire team. Korlik could easily fall, and he does. The defensive Plot play twist. quite effectively supporting his team, getting lays out of crowd control, imprisoning during burst moments. And these defensive plays are really the only thing that allow his team to continue the match long enough for Aqua to generate pressure, as we can see on our screen right now with both Tiber and Nick down below half. Cheerios makes a swap, setting up Korlik, then switching targets again, trying to be as disruptive as possible. Yep, Korlik in a good position right now. There's a root beam over onto Lays. He's going to be sitting there. He actually jumped the root beam, so unfortunately for Tiber, that crowd control is not going to land. He manages to land the follow-up uh, Cyclone, but really no damage to be found. Aqua's going to be trinketing out of that cheap shot. He gates away. Now Nick really struggling to find his target. In the meantime, Cheerios putting huge pressure out onto Tiber. Imprisonment onto Korlik. Can they take him down? Capstun comes in. Korlik ultimately going to be getting out of that Capstun. Fell Barrage now onto Tiber as the pressure continues. Cheerios forced defensive now a little bit. Going to be 
coming back to peel up Nick and make a swap over onto him. Ooh, a Chaos Bolt onto Nick in the center of the map. Oh! Take the kill with a spell lock on the core, like That's denying. The only reason Tyber is alive in this situation, but still good pressure here for Plot Twist. Double Chaos Nova coming in onto Korlek as well as Tyber. Nick still looking to get away, flailing for his life at this moment. Chaos Bolt connects once again, and now finally Neat is forced full defense in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, Tyrios is just making Demon Hunter look like the most fun thing in the game right now. He's just defensively saving his team, setting up for these huge burst moments off the back of Aqua. Plot Twist could be a really threatening team for the rest of this tournament if Neat can't swing this back. Defensive Cyclones, blind play. Will Lay's Trinket, yes. Trinket for blind, fair trade. Unfortunately, now it could open a potential swap later on or even just Solar Beam crowd control chain as it seems like Cheerios and Lay's are basically hugging each other. They're waiting for the Solar Beam to reverse it, but the cheap shot denies the reverse. Cheerios isn't trinketing. They're being greedy again in this position. Defensive fears, but a full hex now secured with no trinket. Cheerios gates away, but he's so far away from his healer as well. Any damage connecting here could end this. A kidney shot to follow it up, and Cheerios will fall. Cyclone manages to sneak it in. Korlik pre-links the Cyclone. The pre-link doesn't even seem to be enough. The pressure is so high right now from Plot Twist. Yeah, Tyber in a lot of trouble, not able to get out those key Cyclones. Lay's doing a good job there with the offensive cycle nick now getting swapped to this is what plot twist wanted they want to ride this momentum if Corlett can't catch up this is going to be a disaster here everyone for plot was in a very safe position no one's really taking too much damage nick still getting rotted down tyber still getting rotted down but Corlett with the ascendants able to top off his team now lays getting swapped to nicely done by nick darkness going to be traded out by cheerios to keep his resto druid alive yeah his trinket though was used and now incarnation is rotating off which means cheers or cheerios piff or lays could die in the next stun lock nick gets disarmed tiber's looking for a full moon not able to find it lays and cheerios are basically hiding for their lives right now at any moment they could just disappear from the arena they're trying to punish nick for overextending cheerios is trying to deny the drink if korlik gets mana the purges will end the game lays uh -oh. gets onto cheerios is too far away to deny the swap and ultimately lays will fall neat are coming back in this series the comeback train two to two as we move into game five and win with mana and you can see i mean korlik had what 20 percent uh, of his mana bar remaining at this point uh, easily here you know you're on stun the uh, so you can just kind of relax sit in bear form you have a lot of hearts and here you know that nick can uh, get out of that uh, and Nice uh, solar beam actually from Tyber. Very far uh, away from him though, and Aqua's in a position where he can chaos bolt anyone on the team. This could be dangerous as Nick sets up potentially a swap. He goes for the kidney shot. Doesn't look like they have anything followed up though. Great defensive play. Double Mortal Coil breaks it up even further. Now spell lock onto Korlek as Tyber dips dangerously low. He retreats back to his healer, but now Nick is overextended. Korlek's trying to push forward to save him. Root solar beam attempt here to kill Cheerios with no trinket on either the healer or Cheerios, but defensive fears from Aqua seem to be good to keep Cheerios alive. Good teamwork from Plot Twist to survive that assault. Yeah, Cheerios doing a good job with that Demon Hunter mobility to really create a lot of space, making it difficult for Nick. He manages to get away once again, gets topped off. Now Aqua, you can see, still just keeping uh, basically a very defensive position, trying to keep Tiber and Nick at bay and punish them anytime they look to get aggressive. But now you can see Nick and Tiber putting a little pressure onto Aqua. That's going to tax Laze's mana a little bit. You can see Korlik and Laze basically tied on mana at this point in the game. Tiber now getting swapped to by Cheerios. Earthen Shield Totem is going to be dropped out there preemptively by by Korlek. You can see Tyber looking for the follow-up CC onto that kidney shot. Full hex secured by Lays. Oh! He has so much trouble and Neat oh, manages to... land that crowd controls as Walric looks like he is the target of choice. Iron Bar committed by Looney. They're just going right through it. Walric's in a lot of trouble right now. Looney has to trink it out as well. Super aggressive play coming in from Reform. Yeah, Walric's activated that stone form. Got all the bleeds off. Now they're going after Relza, which is a bit peculiar, but it's putting him very far behind. That Fell Lord got maximum value. Walric's trying to line up some fears. Switch the burst now over to Dizio. Relza gets hex Flappers gets done. Good cross CC. Unfortunately, breaking early. Walric still is under any resolve. He's in a good position. Reformed are falling behind. Rapture is going to be ending shortly. Relza doesn't have any more cooldowns really to pick his team back up. It's all or nothing. Looney caught into a double bursting shot with Zipai. Walric is completely stable, though. Dizio has to turtle. Mortal Coil on Relza. He's getting cooled away. And suddenly, XRB to the moon suddenly look like the most aggressive team ever with the split pressure on three targets. They're trying to punch through the unending resolve. Do they have enough damage to do it? Throws his fight right at the last second. Looney gets a swift man. Five seconds to Iron Bar. Four Iron seconds to Iron Bar. Back he had to use unending resolve and stone form, I believe, right off the bat. That's his two major defensives. They're trying to get a counter kill at the same time with Dizio dipping to half. Rels has got Rapture rolling in Archangel. He's going to be very powerful heals. He shields. Walrus now in trouble. He's got no portal. Hex gets dispelled. All they need is a little bit of damage to put Walrus over the edge. The next trap on the Looney. If they can fear the trinket or stun the trinket, they could just close the game. There's the stun. Where's the trap? Zipai's trying to dog pile on top of it. Walrus is trying to eat the trap. He can't go for it. 
Dizio doesn't want to risk missing the trap. It's putting his team further behind. Flappers gets cloned at 10%. They can switch any crowd control. Fear onto Relz, and the clone is finishing. Flappers is dangerously low. Bursting shot. Will he secure the trap? Dizio gets knocked away. He goes for the Wyvern Sting instead, but Dizio now gets done. He drinks out. Walrox is restabilized. Back to full HP. It's a race to the finish. Full stun under Relza. He's just going to drink it out. Try and top his team. Looney has managed to hold onto his trinket throughout this whole game. Pressure completely in their favor now. Winter under Relza into a spell lock. Locking both schools of magic as Flappers is on 10%. A trap on the Looney. Flappers is likely to fall and die. Bring it back. Dizio moves in. Drops the snare trap. Relza pushing forward. And yes, reformed. I, I believe we're going to go all out aggression again. You see Dizio caught into a stun. Walrix could pull the trigger on that Fell Lord. They're stacked up for the trap. But they go for a Wyvern Sting instead. Now they're forced to try and retreat away. Psychic Scream attempt here from Relza, but he gets cap him right before it. He's gonna use a Human Racial to go for it. They might even attack Looney. We see a Rake Stun onto Looney. They are gonna target him a bit. They're trying to mix it up and catch Looney off guard. A lot of damage. Frenzy Regen should bounce his health back though. They managed to get a Bark Skin. They need to go after Walrix again. Will he end up throwing the game? We see Tree of Life. And Zipa, or Looney should be able to easily heal through this with Tree of Life and Trinket, which means XRB to the moon are just gonna mount more and more momentum. Yeah, they need to be able to top off Walwick though. Dizio taking some good counter pressure. Relza responds with the paint suppression, but he's into the fear. Stun on Flappers. He needs to keep him tap alive as he goes to 5% HP, trying to kite away. Relza doing everything he can to keep him alive.